So today, we have Colossus taking on the King of Atlantis, Aquaman. Who wins? Well, let's find out. So, Peter Rasputin is a mutant with the ability to convert his entire body into organic steel at will. In this form, he still has the mobility of a normal person with vast superhuman strength and durability with it. He's strong enough to lift right over 100 tons, catch a crashing spaceship while injured, easily throw cars and other large vehicles, and hold his own against stronger foes like Juggernaut and the Hulk. He's durable enough uh, to take several punches from Gladiator, World War Hawk, Juggernaut, and War Machine unfazed. He's also withstood a Cyclops optic blast, blast from Doctor Doom, blast from Sentinels, and massive explosions and kept on fighting. He can physically exert himself for several days before starting to tire. Although he's no speedster, he can run at about 35 miles per hour. Due to years of training with the X-Men and Wolverine, he's a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant as he utilizes judo and wrestling techniques. This skill is how he's able to fight against stronger foes like Juggernaut. And in the other corner we have Aquaman. Arthur Curry is the king of Atlantis. As an Atlantean, he can breathe underwater, endure the pressures of the deep, and can only spend a very limited time out of water. He also possesses superhuman levels of strength, speed, stamina, agility, reflexes, and durability. And these are even higher if he's underwater. Due to his royal lineage, these uh, abilities are even higher than other Atlanteans. He can even stay on land longer than other Atlanteans. But he'll eventually have to go back to the water to hydrate himself. He even possesses a healing factor when he's underwater. He has enhanced senses while he's underwater. Uh, he's strong enough to lift over 100 tons, and he's even sent Superman flying with a punch on a few occasions before. He has survived falls from immense heights and hits from Kryptonians easily. He's fast enough in the water to easily swim, outswim any naval vessel and to cause a shockwave in the water. He's faster than Clark while underwater and his reflexes have matched Wonder Woman as well on a few occasions. He can telepathically talk to any aqua life. He's a skilled brawler and he's especially skilled with his trident. He's even matched Wonder Woman on a few occasions before. His trident is one of the few weapons that can actually hurt Superman. It even hurt and temporarily blinded Darkseid. It increases his speed underwater and it's virtually indestructible as well. So, they're close in strength. They're both in the 100 ton range. Both can hold their own against much stronger foes and can easily and both can easily lift very large vehicles. But I'm going to say Colossus is more durable because Aquaman has shown he's acceptable to piercing attacks like bullets and lasers. But that's okay because Colossus only has his fist and Arthur can withstand a lot of blunt force trauma. Aquaman is also faster in every way. Uh, they're both expert fighters, but I have to give the advantage to Aquaman, especially with his trident. I mean, he's matched Wonder Woman before, which is more than what Colossus has ever done skill-wise. His trident might be able to pierce through Colossus' uh, organic metal as well and put him down. Um, actually, I do believe it could because it's a magical weapon and it's injured Darkseid and Superman who's much tougher than Colossus, who are much tougher than Colossus. But the thing is, Arthur normally uses it as a blunt attack rather than a piercing one, like a bow staff, which could be enough to knock Colossus out, but at the same time it gives Colossus a bigger chance in a longer time to knock Aquaman out as well. So who wins? Well, at the end of the day, I say Aquaman wins by landing a well-placed stab through his heart after a good fight. Aquaman wins. Like and subscribe, all the great stuff. See y'all in the next one. Peace.